do. Been a while since we went this simple guys I've just got the GoPro no mic on the uh, monopod no chesty uh, pour it was pouring on the way out here like so bad I almost pulled over I was debating not even coming out this morning but we ended up doing it glad I did crazy fog wall here and uh, it's gonna be wet all morning I'm out here to check the cameras one time I thought I was gonna come out here twice but I'm just gonna come out here one time check all of them right now uh, see if I'm gonna move any if they've gotten like nothing going on them and uh, that's pretty much what we're doing guys But yeah, just got ready uh, My name's Ryan by the way. Welcome back to another water hopping episode in case you're new to the channel Hit that like button and subscribe to it uh, We got the Tacominator right here. We were just getting ready this morning in here uh, Took our sweet time because it was pouring when I first pulled up and uh, not really in any kind of rush anyways I've got seven cameras to check uh, Four of them are in this piece uh, two on the left two on the right and then we got to drive up this way uh, about a mile and then there's another spot on the right side where I've got a camera about a mile in and then there's another spot up the road about another mile on the left side where I've got a camera about a half a mile in. Wow, it's like hard to say. Blown out tire up top. It's kind of neat. Still got his headphones sitting there and everything. And his hat. now stepping off this trail pretty open in here what we have here is like a tabletop and it drops off right there and there's some private about 500 yards that way and then it drops down into here into this big bottom it's really like just a wetland down there um, I've seen a ton of deer down there our cameras on the way over there camera is in place. Hopefully it's still got a card in it. There's definitely a trail coming past here. No doubt. Hopefully we've got some deer on it. Let's check it out guys. One thing you gotta get SD card reader. So you can check them. Transfer the pictures to your phone. like it, like what I see, we're going to leave that camera right where it is. We got bucks and does showing up almost every day since we put it out and it's become more frequent, becoming more frequent since uh, early August. There's a doe back in here, at least a pond of doe. Just heard a deer blow at me up in here. Unfortunately, right where I'm going. Ravines, everything's steep. 
when you're here, you don't feel like you're in Illinois. It may be Southern Illinois. Not a ton of does, but some does and a small buck showing up relatively frequently. Rather than take that SD card or swap it, it only had like 50 pictures on it. So I'm just gonna let that one roll. I screenshotted a couple pictures of the does, but yeah, that's about it for the for the first one. All right, now we gotta keep moving about a half mile down this hill. We're pretty far back in here, guys. That's partly why I think my trail cameras haven't been touched because I didn't put any of them. Yeah. That was the buck that shows up on my camera. Cool. Just spooked uh, three deer, one buck, two does. They were bedded down right at this little knob here, right behind it. Um, one of the bucks that I saw run off was actually one that I saw on my camera. I just took a screenshot of him. So he's here relatively often. Not showing up on the camera, which sits right up there. It's not showing up on that. Maybe they're operating more through the center of here. That's possible but they just took off in a group back down over that way into that corner there. Neat, that's three deer and they're blowing like crazy. I'm glad it's not hunting season yet. All right, so that camera wasn't even working. <laughs> I guess that will happen to the best of us, I hope. Um, I imagine that won't be the only time that I ever do that, but hopefully that's the only one in the group that wasn't working. This is camera number four on the creek. Camera's right there. I'm interested in this one. Oh. It's become one with the environment, I see. one right here this is uh, Steve's spot now this one is a little easier access taking things a little easier so he prefers the easier access spots this is one of those you got about a parking lot right there I'm about 80 yards from it now and um, he actually took a buck out of this exact spot uh, two three years ago, three years ago now uh, down in here about 60 yards into the cut uh, obviously in the fall this is much more open so it's hard to it's hard to judge things right now. You really have to look at everything with a different perspective, knowing that it's going to be completely different when you come back to it. But he was up in here. He shot himself a little buck about three years ago. That was the first deer I ever got to, you know, put my hands on and drag out of the woods. And it was awesome. So we're hopeful we're going to do it again this year. I got one camera up in here uh, just off this cut about 25 yards in, maybe two, 200 yards straight ahead. And uh, it's on a trail that parallels this edge here. That's a very common thing for deer, is to parallel edges about 15, 20 yards in, two thirds of the way up a hill. So that's where we put this camera, camera number five. And then uh, we're gonna scoot out of here real quick, get back to the truck, move on over to the other spot. We're gonna make a game time decision if we're gonna bring the stand or not, because I got two cameras to check, but I was also considering trying to get up in a tree for the first time. The only thing, well, third time I've technically done two climbs so far practicing with the hang on at my buddy Gilly's house but I've only put two sticks in the stand on I haven't gone three sticks high yet which is 
something I want to do and practice. So we might do that today, depending on time. Uh, trying to get back home by a certain time, you know, and it's a two and a half hour drive to make that happen. So we'll see how this happens, but uh, let's go see what we got on this camera number five, shall we? Bet you I can find this camera just by following this trail because I think that's what I did last time. All right, final spot. I got permission from a guy who works for the DNR over here named Dave. He told me if I want, I could practice climbing a tree. So I got his consent in an email, phone with me. And we're going on to public land to uh, potentially practice climbing a tree. I'm not 100% sure I'm gonna climb because I've only got about an hour and a half right now two cameras to check and I want to do a climb. We'll see if we can fit all that in. But either way, I wanted to put the stand on my back, kind of get a feel for how quiet it is, how it balances. And uh, that's about it guys. Let's go check some cameras. Huge buck. Huge buck. Oh man. Guys, I just saw a giant buck come from up here, run across the field, duck down in there. Dude, that was a giant. I don't think I got his antlers on video. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I wonder if there's more up there. All right, guys, we are gonna call that a success and an end to the video. We checked seven trail cameras and we got a lot of good bucks showing up, so I'm super excited. Um, seven cameras, none stolen. One wasn't working the whole time, but we took it with us. We're gonna try and figure out why and probably just bring it back for the first hunting trip on October 15th, but I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, it's a good experience coming out here in the dead late summer and it's just hot and sticky, but we saw what we needed to see and uh, I learned a few things as well well um, I learned that these bucks are operating in their bachelor groups right now which is a good sign uh, I've got some doe areas and I've got some buck areas so depending on 
what I'm looking for. Maybe in the very beginning of the season, I might just try and go to some of these doe areas and see if we can just get lucky and get on the board right away while these deer aren't super spooky. But we'll see, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Get excited because the hunting videos are coming very, very shortly. Within five weeks, we're pretty much getting in the woods. So stay tuned for that, guys. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. And as always, folks, keep water hopping. And I'll see you soon.